for the first section of the um, project, I see people in luxurious clothes. Um, they are all wearing hats with big feathers and bird looking things on them. And they're all wearing earrings and bracelets. Um, there are also a big black dot in the front side. And if you guys notice that um, on the top lining, there are the, what looks like animals, maybe birds or lizards. Uh, Maybe a rat right there. And I'm gonna on the opposite side of the basket is a uh, upside down L with similar looking animals lining them and then more people standing in they, they look like they're standing in very like strong positions um, all wearing hats as well with which also look like birds and feathers in the same attire as the people on the other side um, this person in particular is wearing a deer hat though this is the back side The lining of the animals go across the entire top. And there's also some animals there as well. On the back side, there is something that looks like a pillar of the same represented animals that lines across them. So these gowns, they look like... Um, they might be doing a ceremony because again I the strong posture maybe maybe a sacrificial one because the, there's animals and maybe the black hole is where they put all these sacrifices um, this person their gowns are slightly different um, Going to the this other side, his gown seems the most um, material, so he must be the chief of some sort. Um, they're all facing towards the black dot, so I'm assuming that's where this the sacrifice occurs. So for step two, um, the credit says that this is a cylindrical vesicle, vessel with a ball game scene. And it is of a Mayan culture in the Guatemala. Um, its medium is ceramic. And it was made in the late classic period, AD 700 to 850. Um, with this information, what I think it meant to someone is that it could have been... The ball game must have been very important for them and for social events. And since it was called a vessel, it could have been used for multiple occasions. It could have been used for carrying water. Um, it could have been just decorative since there's paintings on them. Uh, an emotion that it conveys is that from my original understanding of its interpretation is that they must they've been must have been had a respectful culture um but from the description of the title the games are really important and it must have played in their uh maybe social teamwork maybe in the military the reason i say this is because of the stance that the people are Holding. From the descriptions I just described, uh, this would be good art. Um, along with those descriptions, I also think it's good art is because it portrays uh, people's the Mayan culture, 
and it tells into a little part of their lives on what they did um, to socialize and what they needed for basic uses as well. This experience has allowed me to learn about a new culture, um, a better understanding into their daily lives as well as the importance of animals. When after learning that this is a ball game, the animals, I feel like maybe teams, uh, representative of the teams because each person has a different animal on their hats and their clothing is probably not ceremonial. So the museum's interpretation of this um, is that it is a vessel and it is painted of a ball game played with a rubber ball. The black dot represents the rubber ball and it's actually a 10 pound ball. Um, the players strike the ball using their hip and not their hands so that's probably that's why that their garment is so thick and it protects their waist um so with this information i realized that my interpretation was completely off um however there's one part after reading the title i did get correct is that the name the not name the animals um, that's aligning the top and that they're wearing do represent team um, team members and ball games were very popular and it's actually also a ritual event so that's slightly similar as well because I thought it was a ceremony but it's just not a sacrificial and these little animals that I thought were animals are actually hieroglyphics the two standing players yeah. are actually um, nobles and these are more hieroglyphics and going back the museum description also describes um, the person sitting so this person sitting is actually his name is Whitebird and uh, reading from the description it says he's a holy lord of the Ike's kingdom um, this scene documents Wiper's interaction with his noble peers, the people that are standing, and it's the game uh, represents his rite of passage into manhood. Um, the final question, what this work made me feel was that art can be used as an additional enhancement for education because it can relate to other subjects as well. For instance, um, I came here expecting to evaluate and analyze an art piece, but I also learned about um, some history on the Mayan culture. I think it's a really good way to help education and learning. Um, it could be used as a tool to make students have more fun and it can relate to many different subjects.